With a heavy heart, the family announced sad news about Dick Van. Farewell with tears. Hope keep watching for more details. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Alana. Welcome back to my channel like this video and enjoy this video. Don't miss the main topic of this video, so let's start the latest update. Dick Van Dyke was an American actor, comedian, singer, and dancer. His career spanned seven decades, and he worked in almost every entertainment medium, from vaudeville to radio to television to Broadway and film, finding success in almost all of them with his endearing smile. Physical bravery and a kind demeanor Richard Wayne Van Dyck was born on December 13, 1925, in West Plains, Missouri, and continued to captivate audiences into his 90s. He was raised in Danville, Illinois. One of Van Dyke's closest friends was the cousin of another well-known Danville native, Jen Hackman. Donald O'Connor and Bobby Short, two of Van Dyke's high school pals, went on to have successful careers in acting and jazz singing, respectively. Despite being surrounded by so many artists growing up after realizing that acting was his true passion in a high school drama class, Van Dyke decided to devote himself to doing what he had originally wanted to do through religion by using his acting to touch people's lives and put smiles on their faces. Van Dyke was initially motivated to join the priesthood by his mother's fervent religious belief. Van Dyck made his network television debut in 1954 on an episode of Chance of a Lifetime. He quickly secured guest appearances on shows like The Polly Bergen Show, The Phil Silver Show, and The Pat Boone Chevy Showroom. In 1959, Van Dyck made his Broadway debut in the play The Girls Against the Boys. Gower Champion, the musical's director and choreographer, decided to cast Van Dyke as Albert Peterson in the 1960-1961 production of Bye Bye Birdie. Van Dyke reprised the role for the 1963 film adaptation, which was a box office success. Of course, by this point, Van Dyke was already a household name thanks to the groundbreaking sitcom that bore his name, The Dick Van Dyke Show. Despite his initial reservations, the show was a smash hit, and he won a Tony Award for his performance. Van Dyke was elected into the Television Hall of Fame in 1995 and has won five Primetime Emmys, a Golden Globe, a Tony, and a Grammy. In 2013, he was given the SAG Life Achievement Award, the Guild's highest accolade. He was honored as a Disney legend in 2021 and has a star at 7021 Hollywood Boulevard on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Kennedy Center honors were given to Van Dyck. Dick Van Dyke is best known for his singing and dancing in 1960s musicals like Bye Bye Birdie and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Decades later, he still appears to be going strong, and he claims that's the secret to him aging gracefully around June 2021. CBS, all you old guys out there listen to me. I'm telling you you can keep going for a long, and he plans to keep going the next few years as he added, I'm looking forward to 100. This morning visited the actor's home, and he demonstrated his exercise regimen, which includes rounds of sit-ups and leg circles. He said at the time, I'm 95 and a lot of my friends won't do these. In 2015, Van Dyke wrote a book titled Keep Moving and Other Tips and Truths About Aging, which contained his best suggestion for living a long life. In an interview with NPR that same year, he said, Keep moving is the main thing I think I reiterate three or four times in the book. He also advised against going down the stairs sideways because, despite how good it may feel on the knees, it throws the hips out and the back starts to go out, and before you know it, you've fallen down and broken your hip. So, even if it hurts a little, go down the stairs front ways. Van Dyck asserts that optimism plays a significant role in his ability to persevere. He claims that optimism comes more naturally to him and that he gets out of bed on the correct side of the bed, makes coffee, and heads to the gym before convincing himself otherwise. The celebrity does acknowledge certain challenging parts of growing older. 
He told NPR that one of the hardest things is giving up the activities you enjoy doing when you can still sing and dance. Music for in tonight's This is the music exotic maintaining a healthy weight and exercising regularly are recommended as part of a healthy lifestyle. According to the health body, doing these things can lower your chance of developing serious diseases like coronary heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and cancer by up to 30%. UK government regulations in 2013, Van Dyck spoke about a mystery illness he'd experienced. He previously described it as a neurological problem, but it was actually a side effect from some earlier dental work. He tweeted, It seems that my titanium dental implants are the cause of my head pounding. His health woe first came to light when he was forced to cancel a match. Thanks for watching my video.